Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make these really cool, awesome um, abstract gradient bubbles uh, that you see in the thumbnail. So keep watching, it's going to be a good one. Right, so as usual, we're going to start off with the rectangle tool. We'll make a rectangle to fill our entire artboard. And then we'll open up the gradient tool over here. If you don't have it over here, go to Window and select Gradient. Anyways, click on Freeform Gradient. It'll take you to, to this type of view. Um, basically, every dot you can add a new color. You can increase its range, its reach, or decrease it. And you can add however many you want. So let's make our background by choosing our colors. I'll do some blues and purples and pinks, I guess. Right, I'm gonna move them around a little to create some cool gradients. Maybe add one more. Right, when you're happy with it, Command-2 and lock your background in place. Now, the cool part starts now. All right. Click and hold here to grab your pencil tool or just press N on your keyboard. With the pencil tool, we will make a random blob shape. <laughs> you can make whatever shape you want. I'll make something like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. Anyway, once you've made your blob shape, we are going to click on the mesh tool and we're going to click inside of our shape to create more meshes. Now, the more lines you add, the more complex the shape is going to be and your computer might have a difficult time in processing all of that. So we'll not make too many. Then grab your direct selection tool, click here or press A on your keyboard. And you want to select some of the points, double click here and choose which color you want to give them and only the points you selected will change color. So we're gonna fill our shape with all these nice colors. Just randomly, I usually do it randomly. I don't think too much. I feel like the more random stuff you do, the better it looks. I don't know why. That's just how I work, I guess. Anyways, you fill your entire shape. You can choose whichever color you want. You can leave some white spots to be sort of like the highlights of your shape. I'll make this blue. And that's it. Now look at how cool this looks with our gradient background. It looks like a 3D blob. It blows my mind how easy this is. And it's so cool as well. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, also comment what you'd like to see next. Follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, where I post shorter versions of these same tutorials. Be sure to check my website out where I have some prints available and these really cool hats and some other clothing items. I'll see you tomorrow.